呃，各位老师，拉叔，欢迎来观看《The Witch 2的游戏影片。那开始之前，我要先做一件事。那原本我已经录到第二章节了，结果后来才发现我的录音档出了点问题，所以整个系列到第二章之前，整个故事都要重拍了。还好我有存存很多存存很多个档案呢，要不然我真的会哭笑。那。也不知道为什么会这样呢？之前都没事，结果结果就出现问题了。那接下来我要先去找松组长，因为松组长刚好在那个在那个森林附近，所以比较快。那之后给各位看一下剧情，然后我就会选择我要去加入的阵营。那说真的，我也不知道为什么录音档会损坏掉了，真的是，哎，还好我档案存很多，要不然真的是无言到爆Where is he? He forced Triss to teleport them both to Edern. No, the Scoyatel in Edern will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know. That's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans at your side? I wish death upon every one of those Duan, but that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. Why Upper Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The Scoyatel bite hardest. It's our land, our forefathers' land. I'm no bandit, Gwynblade. I lead a great army. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edern. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. That's two days' travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgern. You helped me with Letho. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrived in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. I can help, but I need to take care of something first. Be quick. I shall wait. Ah, 有些剧情没有录到就算了。没想到我被人选到第一个，就不能选其他的问题了，算了。Hmm? How did you end up in the blue stripes? Why do you ask? You don't end up in a unit fighting non-humans by accident. You must have an interesting story to tell. Why should I tell it to you of all people? Do I see a sensitive little girl hiding behind a mask of indifference? I wouldn't be here if you were right. I was raised in a small village where people cared about two things only. If the drought was going to destroy their crops, and if the Scoyatel would appear in the local woods. One day, a large Scoyatel unit appeared. They burned the village to the ground and slaughtered all the inhabitants. I alone survived because their commander, the bastard, fancied me. They dragged me around with them for months. I knew they'd kill me once they tired of me. And then Vernon turned up. Did he draft you into service? He taught me everything I know. In time, I realized my place was with the Blue Stripes. I'm a soldier because I do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from eighty paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. Nice area, isn't it? 
I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. Is your hatred towards the Scoia'tael some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoia'tael, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoia'tael are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoia'tael. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Fultest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. Now, Roach, things have gotten a little more complicated. What the fuck were you doing with the Scoia'tael? You gave Yorvet a sword. You followed me? I've got others who do that for me, Geralt. Vess, to be exact. Yorvith knows a lot about the Kingslayer, and they no longer see eye to eye. He could lead us to him. The only journey I'll make with Yorvith in tow is to the scaffold in Vizima's marketplace. The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edern. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. Flotsam's ablaze. How did it start? When Vess reported you'd met with Yorvith, I ordered Lurido to provide us with backup. The incompetent oafs were supposed to wait for a signal, but the crossbowmen were twitchy. We surprised them, but Yorveth, the Scoia'tael, gave us hell. We barely escaped alive. Many of my men are wounded, but Lurido's people... When news that elves massacred a dozen soldiers hit the trading post, two of the soldiers' fathers decided to take it out on an elven girl. You can imagine what happened next. I heard you have news for me. Lurido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lurido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lurido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right, let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lurido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lurido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor. Lurido's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor, the lion's den. Here Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round of the trading post, Lurido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lurido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work.
Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> You're this new girl's friend? Where is she? The commander took her to the tower. Hurry! How did you know? She's obviously not one of us. A hooker always knows a hooker. So I guess something was going to happen. Before they took her, she whispered, Window in the extension. And when that bastard went to take a pee, I noticed you climbing over the wall. How do I get to Laredo? When he's having it off, he lets no one in. But his mother has keys. You must really love her taking such risks. Right. Where's the mother? In the basement, distilling fist tech. Thanks. Uh -huh. Go. Climb over the wall and run. If a tall man dressed in blue stops you, tell him everything. Tell him his plan was ingeniously simple. Thank you. If you manage to enter the tower, kill the bastard Witcher. He should die slowly and painfully for all he did to us. You. What do you want? The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl? Your efforts are in vain. Like an Isleen's prophecy. The seed has been planted and will soon... Shut up and give me the key. The key. The key. Where did I put it? Right,這是他,他老貓自,他老貓自找的。Dress like a whore, behave like one. First I'll plow you, and then I'll slice off your tits. Does that strike your fancy? Cut off your own whore, son! Oh, I love it when bitches bark.
It's a trap! Look out! I don't think it's a trap. He's going to get me. 
Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. Oh, he hit the Ephesus. Defeated by a dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorven, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The horseman ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans! Enough of your Veth. What's with Lorido, and where's Vess? Lorido's dead. I saved Vess barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt. A healthy What's boy. That? Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorido kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? Don't touch me. I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltis' life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, 
King Henselt of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety, which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. been a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mode? <sighs> Scoff all you want, I speak of magic! The kind of spells that win wars, thousands incinerated in seconds! Ah! Power, destruction, annihilation! Yes, after which <laughs> Sabrina <laughs> Cleversig was burned at the stake. And the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But sire, the Edernian barons won't dare stand against you. You shall see that shortly. I've prepared everything. <laughs> 